what is up youtube it is your boy diamonds here at common sense graphics and today in this video i'm going to be teaching you guys how to draw boobies and not just no ordinary boobies them big old basketballs you know the ones we just love to have on our anime characters but let's jump right into it so whenever you're going to start off drawing any character you should always figure out what type of face you want and how you're going to draw the top for me my tip for you guys is to always draw like a big old circle for the lower half of the body you know the waist the grown area and then draw a big old upside down triangle just to give you know the part of the torso some shape before you start filling in the details now something that always helps me out whenever I am drawing in my characters just to find placement for where I should put the breast set depending if they're big or small I always draw two big humongous circles on the edges of the triangle that I just drew because it's a really good placeholder for the arms and for the spot where you can begin drawing your woman's breasts. Now I cannot stress this enough when you're drawing in your character's breasts. If you're drawing a more bigger voluptuous character, make sure you always add sag because believe it or not you have to keep gravity in mind and for a woman the breasts always sag, they go down with gravity and so it's very key to know where the sag begins and where it stops where you can start adding the curvature to your character. Now, a very important keynote that you should always keep in mind when creating your character's chest is to always allow there to be a gap between the breasts. If you just show them pressed together but the arms aren't pressing them together purposely, then it looks very unnatural and very weird. So you do not want that to happen. It is okay to draw the cleavage lines upper in the middle, but make sure near the bottom if she's wearing no clothing or like a bikini or something like that, make sure that there is a gap between that or else it's just ugly now don't get me wrong it is perfectly okay to draw a character like that depending on what style of cartoon or anime character you're drawing if you are drawing someone who is unproportionate who is disfigured or something or maybe you're just trying to have some fun and drop some nude people and you just want certain parts of the body to shine more than the others like you're just focusing more on the chest than like the legs or the waist or the arms then go right on ahead it's perfectly fine if you want to draw your breasts in a looney tune style of form a more cartoon style of big old basketballs now when it comes to drawing a character who's not as voluptuous as other characters uh pretty much a flat character uh, no offense to any women who are watching this who are flat chested i'm sorry but uh for drawing a character like that it's pretty much the exact same method but with the triangle that you draw for part of the upper body you want to use more of that triangle just at the top of the triangle you want to taper it off just a little bit drop more curvier than drawing it's just a straight jagged triangle as you see here and when it really comes to drawing more flat chested women the key thing here when it comes to making it look good is realistically when you get to the clothing and the shading uh, the, when it comes to the clothing you can show the clothes creases the shows where it's at and then the shadows will also really make it pop out and make it be very apparent instead of looking like a, a male character because then it starts turning into more of a blocky form uh, if you're not paying attention to that and uh, don't be afraid to experiment. Uh, you can change certain parts of the body if you want one part of the body to be more extended out versus the other side. Make sure you experiment, have some fun with it, and try different things. You can try putting different size breasts on, on the same character if you want to, just to show a different type of emphasis in your style, whatever looks best for your character. Just make sure that you take your time and you know delete things that you want to delete and then redraw them. Now, when it comes to drawing someone who's a bit unproportionate, someone who is very voluptuous in the breast area and in the hip area, uh, when you're drawing it, just don't draw it like big old giant basketballs. I know we all want to draw our women like that just because, you know, it's like a big anime trope. In every anime you see, there's always one character who always has the humongous melons and you know it's just a way how it is and people are usually attracted to it like seven deadly sins elizabeth um if i go to same same show diana big humongous breasts on a really small body that don't look right in my opinion when you draw breasts that big and you look at mainly just the, the chest it looks like a nut sack just to say because it really does look like it i mean i'm look look at me right here it, i feel like i'm drawing one right here even though it's supposed to be a woman's breast but it looks like genitalia if you will and <laughs> we're not trying to aim for that 
but also one thing you want to keep in mind whenever you're drawing your character is to keep in mind about the waist uh, you don't want to make it too slender at the point where the waist is at its most slenderest you kind of want it to just kind of almost go down a little straight then just curve it out and then it'll gradually join with the hips as you can see here uh, my point of line of interest is like just a little bit right below where the breasts cut off at and you don't want to like I said make it too jagged or too pointy because then it just looks like you know like your character's anorexic and if you ever watch a lot of anime or whatnot usually you never see characters who look like that usually they usually look uh, pretty healthy in the curve form they're not overly curvy unless you're talking about animes that actually just have characters that are overly curvy but you just want to keep that in mind and also a little side note too if you're just having issues drawing out the way how the breast itself should be formed as you see what I'm doing right here I'm drawing lines through the breast it's like just like it's like when you're drawing a face you draw lines through the face to show the emphasis of where things are going to be placed at the eyes and the nose and stuff and so these guidelines can really assist you and help you in drawing your breasts and don't forget about the potato method the potato method is what I talked about in the first video that I made about drawing women's breasts the potato method also really works or if you want to call it the infinity or the figure eight method where you draw two circles overlapping each other and then then draw a line on the outline of it just to show what it is and you can do a lot with it these really do make a difference when you're drawing your character from the front or adjust it to the side it really does make a big difference and i highly recommend you guys take these steps when it comes to drawing your character in whatever form you want to draw it if she's doing like acrobats and like jumps and stuff flips and things then you're gonna have to do the exact same thing but at different angles different points of views and to show motion there's a lot that goes into it but this is probably the most simplified method in my opinion on how to do this and again just as a reminder don't forget about gravity and gap because those are two very key components in every woman you'll ever draw just because it's everything you have to keep in mind about gravity no matter she's old or young if she's saggy flat busty or she got hangers you know uh, either one it's gonna be always the same thing we're trying to draw either more of a realistic type of thing but even in anime like anime anime like the biggest waifu you can think about uh, even they have sag and proper proportions they get to keep an eye out unless things are just really out of this world and if you're someone who is just struggling uh, one of the things that I did in the past just to get better at drawing a woman's chest in different angles and forms and stuff is one I always stuck to the base skeletal form where I just rough sketched out all the shapes with the base circle the upside down triangle and uh, circles for the shoulders and just like filled it out that's one thing I always did and number two is I just focused mainly on the chest I didn't draw the head really I didn't draw the legs or anything like that I just focused on the chest and so you should create exercises for yourself go get a reference photo look at someone doing an angle uh, maybe someone who is a bit more exposed if you will and just practice off of that you don't have to trace it tracing does help if you want to learn faster in my opinion or not faster but just the type of way you want to learn then go ahead and trace it but just have it to the side and then just try you know sketching it in the base skeletal form and eventually you'll pick up on it over time and you'll figure out how to do it realistically to get better you just need to practice this repetition is key here when it comes to figuring out how to draw characters like that but we are now heading towards the end of the video hope you guys enjoyed it hopefully it was educational to you guys so you guys can start drawing all of your fantasies and stuff for women but it's your boy Dom's here at common sense graphic hope you guys enjoyed the video please rate comment subscribe hit that like button hit the bell notification icon all that bullshit your boy out